The Jiayu Guan World Cup made its inaugural stop on the ITU circuit under sunny and hot conditions. And it was the elite men who were first to dive into the clear waters of East Lake. The strength of the Russians in the water continued to show, with Igor Polyansky and Vladimir Turbayevsky leading the charge. The Americans were also well placed, with Jared Shoemaker and Joe Malloy also among the lead group after 1500 metres. Once onto the bikes, a lead group of about 25 held a slight 10 second advantage. But the chasers worked well together to erase the deficit by the end of lap two, making for a very large leading group. On lap four, Alexander Latan from Estonia took advantage of the tight confines and broke away from the pack and built a 30-second lead by the midway point on the bike. The chase pack seemed content to let him ride solo until lap six, when Eric Lagerstrom and Jonas Schomburg surged ahead of the pack to catch Latan, who was more than happy to have the help. The group of three built a one minute 31 second lead by the time they came into the second transition. But was it enough over 10 kilometers to hold off the faster runners who were in the chase group? Nearly 50 athletes came off the bikes together, creating a chaotic scene as the chasers scrambled to get to their racks and into their shoes. Schomburg proved to be the strongest of the leading three early on on the run, but the group behind were closing the gap quickly, taking 30 seconds out of them by the end of the first lap. And by the second lap, a group of six had taken control of the race. The last five kilometers of the run came down to a test of metal between Shoemaker, Polyansky and Turbayevsky. And with just 2.5 kilometers to go, the cat and mouse game began. But it was Turbayevsky who proved to have the legs pulling away from Shoemaker in the last meters, with Polyansky finishing the day with the bronze. It was uh, really hard to me because uh, altitude. I feel altitude because I'm not training in altitude last time. So swimming is okay, but uh, on, uh, on the bike my muscle uh, really tough and I feel not so good. But when begin the run, I feel okay. Only a little breath, maybe, but I feel good and can. It was an interesting race uh, being at altitude. Um, I've actually been training in Boulder, so it's the exact same level. So I knew I had a little bit of an advantage over some people. Um, and you just cannot go out hard in these in this altitude. Uh, so, I mean, I, I kind of was smart on the swim, tried to get to the front and just stayed up there. And the bike was interesting. The course was just so rolling and uh, nobody really wanted to do very much work, but it was also hard to get to the front. So I ended up at the front for most of the bike and let a couple guys get away. And, uh, and then the run just, just sat there as long as I could until uh, I felt like it was time to make a move. And then uh, unfortunately he flew right by me <laughs> while I was making my move. So yeah, it was good though. Yeah, I'm very happy. It's my still at, uh, still at podium on, on World Cups. And all, all podiums will was on the uh, Asian Cup, Asian World Cups. Asian Cups were very lucky for me. And the uh, uh, beginning this year was uh, very unlucky for me. On uh, two champion series, I'm crash and sick uh, about one month. And uh, now uh, I'm a little rehabilitation. Uh, this podium is very good for me.